Hello truckers and welcome back to American Truck Simulator with Realistic Economy. We are up in Yellowstone without a load. 8 o'clock at night. Let's just get to bed. We get on the road. Is it, uh, well, I'll show you in the map where, we're, where our plans are for today. Uh, if I can scoot on over here. Uh, we are up here in the northwest part territory of Wyoming. We're going to head on down the road that we came up last episode. And then we're going to scoot on down the 26 287. Uh, it's got two names to it, so who knows. Um, and we're going to go to Riverton. And once we get to Riverton, then we'll figure out what we're going to do. But this is going to take us most of the morning to get there. So no time to waste. Let's go ahead and fire up the engine. Ooh, we're up to $70,000 in the bank account. I do like that to start with. Um, anything around us? I don't think so. So let's scoot on out of here. I probably won't stop anywhere along down the side of the road as we go down because we did a lot of stopping on the way up. But I may see something new on the way back down, so who knows. So where we go once we get to Riverton, I have no idea. We're going to get to Riverton and see where it takes us. So what those we got out of there. Uh, I think Evanson is about the only other city I have not uh, visited in Wyoming after we get to Riverton. So if we get one to Evanson... I think that's the name of it uh, then we will start heading towards the east coast to the Carolinas is where I like to kind of get our way our way over there because we haven't been over there uh, I've been saying that for a while on the east coast we've been down to Florida and we went to the northeast so now it's kind of kind of hit the mid-atlantic region is what we need to hit so most of the morning here will be you know no load just going all the way down to Riverton and see what they have down there for us Yeah, it's kind of a shame that there's no loads going up to here. And also, yeah, when you get to Jackson, you can't click on the map to access uh, deliveries. So you have to drive to each company to see what they have uh, offered. And I just kind of went to the one that we were at. And I was like, you know what? For what I'm going to be doing uh, at the end of the last episode, the beginning of this episode... It's not worth taking a load because I probably would run really late getting the load to wherever it is we're going. And if you do decide to come up here, it's not that big of a deal, but you do got to pay a couple of tolls to get up through here. I wonder if that's supposed to be that little... That little... <laughs> I wonder if that's supposed to be like Old Faithful or something. I'm not sure. I forgot what it was called on the way up, but it wasn't called Old Faithful south entrance so is this actually technically entering Yellowstone when I come in through here I wouldn't think so because it says south entrance so what am I actually entering when I get into here then I, I, I have no idea I mean it does say Yellowstone National Park there so if I pay a toll on the way up, you think I would have to pay a toll on the way back down because I'm entering? I, I don't know. It doesn't matter. Just trying to find things to talk about today because we don't have a load. Not really much uh, to talk about until we get to Riverton to find out what we have going on. As for before I start recording, I did kind of look at some low loaders to possibly buy a trailer. And I kind of threw a low loader together that I would probably like to get in a 60 grand. And the funny thing is, I was saying at the time... I don't have the cash, uh, but now we slept overnight. Now I have the cash because I think the trailer I kind of threw together was like 60 grand. I didn't do nothing that special to it. So who knows? Now, the only thing I don't remember is when I buy a trailer, does it, do I have to select what garage it goes to? Then I have to go to that garage and pick it up. I'm trying to remember and I can't. So. Um, we'll see what happens when we get to Riverton. If I do decide to buy a trailer and it does go to uh, like one of the garages, I guess the nearest garages would either be Salt Lake City or Denver. So if it has to be shipped to a garage before I can attach up to it, uh, I guess it all depends on out of Riverton where I would go if I can get a load to Salt Lake City or Denver. We shall see how it goes. 
And if I don't have one going to Salt Lake City or Denver, what I could do is do like an external contract somewhere and just do something along the way and we'll work our way towards one of the garages to get the trailer. I would like to get a reefer trailer, but those are a lot more expensive. Now the thing is, after we use a trailer, I guess I could let someone else use it, but then that limits what they can do. So what I probably would do is give it to someone, uh, one of my high ranking drivers, because they would have a lot of options open, well not a lot of options, but they would have, as long as they got a star and everything, they should be fine. That's what I should probably need to be saying. What, what's with the traffic here? Why were they going so slow? Oh, it's 15 miles an hour through there. <laughs> so maybe they weren't going slow. Someone was going a little bit too fast. <coughs> Anyways. Any traffic coming? So, yeah, we have not been down this road. So who knows what we'll see. I, sometimes I don't like it when I see a road to the side. It's like, ooh, I, think I would like to take that road, and they got it blocked off. Now, there is one road in Phoenix, um, Arizona, to where it looks like it's blocked off. It doesn't have the X's in front of it, but they got barricades in it or in front of it. But if you happen to go through the barricades, it will bring you to a racetrack. going to tell you it's around Phoenix. At least that's where I remember it being. Uh, speed limit is 55, so I'm going to go ahead and set the cruise. Uh, some of my drivers are not finding jobs. I wonder if that has to do with the game update and the map update. Ooh, $838 for fuel and maintenance. More than likely they came back from across the country. I never quite understood why, and it's always been that way in ETS 2 and ATS. Um, like when there's a major update to the game, sometimes the drivers, I don't know, they just can't find deliveries for like a day or two. They'll finish it, I think they finished the, the delivery that they're on, but then they all return back to the garage to kind of reset. I don't know what that's about, so that's why, like, I think yesterday we had two drivers and I don't know how many I've had today. I just caught that one there. It's kind of it's kind of weird how it goes. If you remember the first few episodes where we had drivers, my eye was glued to the bottom of the screen every time I saw something a blue text come up. I was like, "Oh, what's my drivers doing?" I don't have that many drivers currently. I think we have 12 other drivers, or is it 13 other drivers besides ourselves? And I occasionally I look down just to see what's going on, but. I think it's getting to be like uh, one out of three times where I look down like, oh, what did they bring in? So bringing a, uh, or at least driving on this road here, like we did from Jackson going up all the way around, it's a long ways around, so I don't know if you would be actually bringing a trailer up and around this way. Um, I think there actually is a road that might be a little bit shorter going from Jackson to, uh, where am I going now? Riverton. And this is a new road work that they're doing in Wyoming, or was there a road here is that they're under major reconstruction? long. <laughs> this is not one of those short ones. I, I hope it's not like this all the way to Rollins because that would really, really suck. Yeah, I would not recommend coming up here with a load, especially a low loader. Although the road is not 
that bad, but a low loader may keep bottoming out. My steering wheel, I don't know if you can hear it, because I, I do got force feedback on my steering wheel. It's rattling, so if you hear like a little rattling in the background, that's my steering wheel just letting me know like, hey, you're on the dirt road. It's like, no kidding, Sherlock. Thank you. Those cars behind me must have enjoyed all the dust. And then you, then you break out from that and you come out to some lovely scenery here. Some rolling grassy knolls to a river on the right hand side. And like I said, uh, I'm, I'm guessing the ETA was going to be somewhere around 1030 in Riverton. I think it was four and a half hours. I'm trying to remember last episode. At the end, we kind of check marked on the map. And I think it said it was a four and a half hour trip from where we were down to Riverton. I'm trying to think if I need to gas up when I get there, and probably wouldn't hurt to fuel up. I always say gas up. It's actually, we need diesel, but yeah, you get it. Fuel up is what I probably should be saying. Although I should be thankful none of you have ever said, you keep saying gassing up, you don't put gas in a truck, you put diesel fuel. All right, so okay, we're, put, we're fueling up. This is what I say about the AI traffic. That, that truck was going at a slow pace and all of a sudden next thing you know they're like hey okay I, 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 I can go faster through here I know one thing well a trailer on the back when you hit the brakes <laughs> your truck your truck slows down pretty darn quick Smokey the Bear said there's a low chance for a fire today Haven't seen any road signs that say like Riverton how many miles. Also, in case you're new to realistic economy, you don't get no XP for free roaming, is what we're doing. At least I don't think we do. I didn't see it at the bottom of the screen. I looked down quickly and I saw that's what I was saying. It says zero for something and 100 for something else. Maybe I do get 100 XP for traveling. Or did it say zero XP for 100 miles? I don't know what it said. But I don't think there's any XP for free roaming. The only thing I look forward to now when we do level up is I get to put a point into another skill, which just means that we will get more cash from doing deliveries. realize okay we're going the right way <laughs> i was just staying on the main road and all of a sudden i saw a junction and i was thinking uh i don't have gps set because i don't have nothing set for us to go anywhere all right so we're getting kind of close to riverton so i think what i'm going to do here we're not that far out let me go ahead and check the freight market and let's go to riverton oh i can't because i haven't discovered it yet okay uh kind of forgot about that now let's go back to the world map and I'll just pin it to here. That way I know I'm going to town. That way uh, GPS will kind of lead, lead me the way, won't lead me astray. I won't take a road to nowhere. Oh, 
yeah, so the only thing I was thinking about um, when I was doing the trailer, I kind of have a new plan. Or, <laughs> like I said, I should call them ideas. Uh, my plans never stick. I come up with a plan, and like 20 minutes later, I'm like, I got a new plan. I got a new plan. So the first thing we're going to do with our money is, yeah, we're going to buy some type of a trailer. Um, flatbed, really a trailer? Sure it is. Uh, then we'll save up and we'll buy another truck and get another driver. And then after that, we'll save up some cash and we'll be trading in our Mack truck at that point and swapping out for a new truck. Now, you might, some people may say, well, you just got the paint job on here. It's been many episodes at this point. By the time we get around to having enough cash um, to do so, it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be a while. So, I'm not, by then, I, I, at one point, I thought about just saving the trucks, you know, put them in the garage. We'll drive them at different varieties of time. But, um, there we go. Riverton discovered. Let's go to here. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'll ever, I don't want to say ever be back in the Mack truck again, but we got a lot of trucks to cruise around in for a while. All right, so there's Riverton. So I've discovered every city except for Evanston. Anything going to Evanston on this market here? No. Okay, uh... Seems like this is all I've been doing in Wyoming is I, I say, oh, give me a moment, I'll figure it out. Now, the next thing I'm looking for is something going to NC, North Carolina or someplace. I do not see one. Let me go to external contracts. Let me just make sure I click on that. And anything going... Okay, I'll just... Yeah, jump cut. All right, so I think... I think I have a plan... Or, excuse me, an idea. <laughs> we're going to head to the gas station first. And we're going to get our wallets and buy ourselves a trailer. And if... Uh, if I cannot take a trailer right from our location, which I don't think we can. I think i got to either send it to a garage or whatever. But there is a load here in this town that's going to Salt Lake City and I should be able to get there on time not today I wouldn't get there today right no well hmm it says it's a seven hour trip and I got about six hours left in my day so it all depends um, so if I have to go to my garage to get it uh, that's where we go so we're gonna buy here a flatbed here shortly and I am gonna get a low loader I do believe are you I mean, not to say I haven't done things like that before when I have a load. I, I, I'm not really sure. Yeah, okay. Good news is, uh, you know, no contact, so no fines to anyone. No fines and everyone's fine. It, it's okay. It's okay. From one trucker to another, I forgive her. All right, so what do I got for cash? Have we paid? No, we have not paid our loan for today either. All right, so let me actually leave the fuel pump. There we go. Park and brake, turn off the truck. All right, let's go in here. Uh, trailer purchases. Where are we here? Yep, we're starting here. Now, I know it says 38.3, but yeah, the price is going to go up for what we're doing here. Um, you can get it to where I, I don't think I, I want to extend it um, so I can take heavier loads. We're just going to stick with this for now. And... Boy, for double the price, do I really need the aluminum, you know, the aluminum middle? Or just go with wood? 
I think we'll go with wood. I think it looks better. I don't, I originally, that I was putting, throwing one together. I'm like, what's, what's the expense could be if I go high end? And I had that. Not sure I like the looks of that. I actually like the looks of that a little bit better. Um, for here, I do want a third axle back there just to help with, does that make it? Okay, no, the, the length of this area here stays the same. Um, if we go here to the paint job, we're gonna go to custom color. 8,000 for a custom color? That's cruel, man. That is cruel for custom color. Um, black truck, black little boy, of course. Uh, then we're gonna go here, and then if we go to this part here, I really don't like the looks of that. I don't know whether it benefits us for having that. I do like the looks of that better. And then for here, um, you can put the, uh, the tire covers, mud flat, not mud flats, but uh, tire covers. Um, for two grand, I think we'll do that just to protect not only our truck. So, if, you know, if your tires are going around, and you got stones in them. If the stone flies out when it's going this direction, it'd actually come back and hit the back of our truck or it could hit the cargo behind us. So yes, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, mud flaps here. We'll go with some cheap ones here. Uh, this one here will give us some more parking lights on the side. So we'll go ahead and do that. The wheels, I'm gonna leave alone because that will get rather expensive. What are this? Uh, flags, do I need flags? No, I don't like the looks of the flags here. Uh, what does this do? All right, so we're gonna stick with the cheap mud flaps for that. What's the price? What's the pricing? You gotta be careful. We are getting low on uh, cash here. Um, so what I did with there, uh, if you look at the tail lights, just round tail lights or these diagonal ones. I don't know. I prefer the diagonal ones for some reasons. That's my taste. Uh, here we're gonna have some strobe lights in case I want to put them on. Uh, I don't like the looks of this this high riser with the beacons. I don't like the looks of that. And what does this do? Um, we're gonna do oversized load back here, just so people know we got a oversized. It, it could be. It's not a long load. It could be a wide load, but we're gonna go with oversized. So it comes to we're just gonna say sixty grand, which will leave us thirteen. In a little while, I got a six thousand dollar loan payment. All right, we're gonna go ahead and confirm. And when I say purchase, what's it going to ask me to do here? Um, can I just, no, it's going to, okay. So yeah, it's going to, you got, you got to send it to a garage. So Salt Lake city. And we're going to say, okay, do you really want to buy the full wooden low boy? Yes. Uh, to your garage in Salt Lake city. Yes, we do. All right. So we have a trailer, but we're not using it today and maybe a little bit tomorrow. Who knows? Uh, hopefully this job is still here. Let's go to job market, freight market. We're in Riverton. And please tell me it's still here. Oddly enough, <laughs> if you look at the load of Riverton to Salt Lake City. Is there another one in Salt Lake City? Just in case, because it's going to be... I can't believe it. I just noticed it's going to be the same configuration that we just took. Uh, that's funny. Um, Salt Lake City. So John Deere, it has to be there Wednesday by 12 a.m., which means I got to get it there by tomorrow. Uh, wait, what's today? Oh, today is Tuesday. I thought today in game was Monday. Today in game is actually Tuesday. Uh, okay. I lost track of my days here in the game and in real life too. But, um,. Yeah, that's that's gonna be tough. Seven and a half hours, and I got six hours left on my clock. Someone didn't think this through. All right, let me let me uh, let me check on loads again here. All right, so a little bit of a luck played into this. So external contracts, I finally found one. Kind of going back towards Salt Lake City. And the other thing that's good is over 100 miles on external contracts, which means I'll, I should be able to check mark off another one of those. I got to do 10 of them on external contracts. And uh, once I do 10, um, I'll get something for, oh, the paint job. That's right, it's a paint job. So not much cash in this delivery, but you know what? It's, it's heading in the right direction. 
In a way, I'm kind of glad that the other load needed to be there today because the load was going to be on the same trailer that we just purchased, as odd as it was. So we are going to Tesla. I don't think I've been to a Tesla yet, have I? I mean, I have many times before, maybe not on camera or uh, maybe on the other American Truck Simulators playlist. It's a very short trailer, so... Didn't get lined up, but then again, didn't back up too well either. There we go, let's connect. It's a couple hour journey, but at least it's, uh, like I said, it's a start in the right direction. I think we'll head out this way because the trailer is short enough. And once we get going, I'll kind of show you what the load is. I, well, show myself as well because I didn't really look. I was just looking at destinations of where stuff was going. Oh, I didn't expect, uh, I'm doing the same thing that the other lady did to me. Just pull on out without even really looking too well. Alright, so we're taking uh, 7,200 pounds of machine parts from Rock Springs, or, or sorry, to Rock Springs. And we are in Riverton. Uh, as you can see, it's only a 120 mile trip, about three hour trip it says, and we're going to pay 472 bucks to do it in. And they got 17 real time hours to get it there, which um, the episode is not going to go on that long. we get down to the Rock Springs then we'll see if I can now, now the problem is I gotta find my way to Salt Lake City so I guess we can pretty much say yes we are kind of pretty much done touring Wyoming at this current stage and once we get to Salt Lake City uh, we're gonna try to find ourselves a payload to the Carolinas and along the way stop or bypass or go through St. Louis and Nashville. So if you're one of the, uh, well, if you're, there's two of you that asked for that. So um, if you are watching, yeah, you, you can look for that in the near future. much of a rush because the traffic in front of us is not going that fast either. Although I do believe right now we're taking a road that we have not been on. So once again our bank account is getting getting down there but you know I'm not too worried we have enough money currently for a loan payment for tomorrow and as long as drivers are bringing in cash we are fine. Hopefully we don't have any more drivers coming in with no load. Now, the, now, like I was saying before, once I get done with the trailer, I may, I don't know if I want to sell it and get the money back on it or give it to another driver. The thing is, yeah, my drivers may get to an area, but if they don't have a load that can go on a low loader, they'll return with nothing. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure how that's going to work out here in the future. I've done it before in another profile where just giving drivers trailers. I didn't care because that's a, you know that was before a realistic economy, and I didn't care if my drivers didn't bring in any cash. It was like, yeah, whatever. I got on the other account. I think I got 80 million. I could have a lot more in my other profile, but anytime I was in a town, even on the coast to coast, I think I owned like 400 garages on that one. Just 
want to get as close as I can to the police car, so if they look in the rear of the mirror, that's going to get a my grill in their face is all they're doing. It's only 30 through here, so I gotta watch myself. We'll try to take a load out of Rock Springs because it's going to be roughly around 2 o'clock when we get there. I'll have three more hours on the clock. I don't know. Maybe we can find a load from Rock Springs to Evanston. Down we go. So someone did ask, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, but someone did ask on the first episode that we did, I think it was the first episode, when we went through... Uh, between Laramie and Cheyenne why there was a Lincoln Memorial up there for the highest point on I-80 and I think it had something to do with the same thing for uh, when the railroad went across the country back in the 1800s when Lincoln was president um, I think it's somehow connected if I'm not mistaken um, don't, don't hold me to that I didn't look it up. I'm just trying to remember. I was there. Well, not geez, wow, it's almost 16 years ago now. I was probably uh, probably there. I went there a couple times, but I only, only read the plaques once. But yeah, I think it has something to do with the same thing, like when the railroad went across the country, and which Lincoln had a hand in. So I think it has something to do with that. I want to drive my truck underneath that to get myself a truck wash. Here's hoping I can get a load from Rock Springs either to Evanson or to Salt Lake City. shorty behind me because it just I keep looking in the mirror it's like I expect to see long, a longer trailer or I mean you can barely see it in my mirrors Like uh, now that I've seen up in Yellowstone where they have the wildlife up there, I'd like to see more of the wildlife on the map itself throughout Wyoming and on other states as well. be kind of interesting. I would love to, uh, when we get to Salt Lake City and get our trailer attached, if I can get a load going all the way to North Carolina on that, that's going to be a pretty darn good payday, but it will take us two, two and a half days. Well, let's say two to three days. Two, I mean, if I get there in two days, that, that's hauling some butt. Um, yeah, I don't think that's going to be possible. I'm going to guess that's going to be about a 2,000 mile trip, so that's definitely going to be 
even on three days, that's going to be a tight schedule on three days. If I do 700 miles a day, yeah, that's going to be a tight schedule. Now look at all the traffic coming out of nowhere. You see, my delivery point is going to be a left-hand turn, so... Interesting little little destination to go to. Nicely done. Uh, where am I going with this now? Over here somewhere. Looking for something on the ground. Oh, is it going to be from the other side? It's going to be right in this little bay, isn't it? I got to back in from the other side. Nope, it's right there, and I need to pull in from the other side, I think. As we found out a few episodes ago, you do have to pull it in and facing a certain direction. To see, whoop, hard to see with the lights on this concrete. All right, so it's two o'clock, just shy of two o'clock in the afternoon. So we got three hours on our clock. So if I take an external contract, it's got to be not too far. All right, continue. Ah, seven to ten. That's good. Let's, uh, I would, mm hmm. All right, same as same as before. Uh, let me look at jobs again. Well, I did find one on the freight market, going to Evanston, and it's about a two-hour trip, and I got three hours left in my day, so that works out rather well. Well, it says like two hours twenty minutes to get uh, get there, but I gotta get the load first. So that's gonna be the rest of our day. Get to Evanston, and once I get there, I should have discovered every city in Wyoming. And then, um, yeah, hopefully I can find one at the beginning of the next episode going to Salt Lake City. There's two lanes here. I think it's two lanes. I forgot where I'm going to pick it up. It says uh, Coors. I think it's Coors that we're going to. 13 miles. All right, so we got a ways to go. Well, when I say a ways to go, it's a ways to go when you're going from one load to another to pick up in town. I'm uh, not too sure what's up with all the traffic here. So by the time I do get to cores and pick up the load and get to Everson, it probably will be 5 o'clock. It's a tandem trailer as well, so when I get to Evanston, it'll probably just be a pull-in and park job. And as we'd expect, only doing about a 100-mile trip, we're not going to get paid too well, but it's money coming in. I mean, the one thing I can say about the company is, yes, we're spending money. Uh, we keep, once we get it, uh, we're spending it. So the money's always kind of low, but we're slowly paying off our loans. And also putting equity back into the company by buying some stuff. 
Now, if you're new to ATS, uh, and you're probably thinking, well, what's the sense of buying a trailer? You're getting paid to pick up trailers and deliver. By having your own trailer, you get paid more. The only issue is having your own trailer is not all cargo can go on certain trailers. Like we've talked about before, I cannot take frozen food on a, on a, <laughs> on a flatbed. Um, the food would be kind of unthawed by the time you get there. So that's why I need a reefer trailer. Reefer trailer is just short for a refrigerated trailer. There's also insulated trailers and there's regular trailers. There's, yeah. You get, you get the point. drivers keep bringing the cash I don't care if it's a little about a amount of cash do you see how that sign changed in that building <laughs> I was like I thought I was going to a course building just rendered in uh, must be the mod for real companies that I have oh and I have been asked and I, and I probably should uh, someone asked me what uh, where do I where you can get real companies there's so many different mods out there for real companies um, if you look at the Steam Workshop, you can find a whole bunch of one, bunch of them. Uh, freight Market. And right here, Beverages. 41,000 pounds, Rock Springs to Evanston. Uh, the one thing I didn't look at, is there another Evanston on the map? Luckily there isn't, but uh, yep, we'll take that job. If I can remember, I'll put the link to the one that I have. But then again, when I do ATS videos, I usually do them a week before they go live. So by the time I edit them on YouTube, sometimes I forget that I send the video like, oh, I'll put the link in the description. Sometimes I remember, but. All right, so it says I'll get there at 20 and five, which is perfect. I went with a short trailer now to a tandem trailer. Now this is the load I was looking for when I was going up from Jackson. Jackson Yellowstone, we were passing the Rockies in the background with the snowy caps. That's what I would have been looking for. That would have been a nice little screenshot. Soon we're just going to get on the I-80 and fly down from here to Evanston. So now we're going to slowly work our money up now that we got a quote-unquote trailer. Gonna slowly work our way up to about a hundred and thirty thousand dollars we can buy another truck. Come on, fire truck, make up your mind because I need to turn left up here eventually. Is that a bus? I'm going over the speed limit to get myself. Yeah, now I'm going fast enough to get in front. Um, yeah, I was saying something about uh, buying another truck. One hundred thirty thousand will get us a truck and a driver because we have an open bay in Denver and then once we do that we'll save up we'll have to save just a little bit of cash because I'll trade this truck in for whatever truck it is that we purchase Now the tricky part for me will be doing another paint job, I guess. It's not, not the tricky part of doing the paint job. Well, maybe it is, maybe it's not. But the problem is we're going to do it the same way as we've done before to where we don't know what truck we're going to buy until we're rolling in town somewhere 
and it's like, oh, I got the cash now. What dealership is in this town? So it's not like I can have a paint job ready to go for that specific kind of vehicle truck. I will say we won't trade in for a Volvo because we drove Volvo to begin with. And then we're in a Mack truck. So, yeah, those two trucks are out. So whatever, whatever truck is next. But I would guess from this point on to where we need to buy, you know, where we buy another truck. Let's see, 130. Uh, we're looking at, I'm going to have to be like, we have to earn another $180,000 from this point on. So, in the beginning, I would have said, well, it's going to take for, for ages. But now it's not as bad with the amount of drivers that we have. And I'll be excited to see once we get our trailer on our truck, what kind of loads we get and what kind of payment we get. I really do hope that from Salt Lake City, I can find a load going right to North Carolina. Are you, are you brake checking me, dude? I mean, kind of. All the AI tr uh, car is doing is he's keeping his distance from the truck in front of him. Sometimes riding in the right lane, the slow lane, on the interstates, kind of sucks. When I'm taking a long journey, uh, if the interstate is three lanes, you'll find me in the middle lane. Because I know I'm not getting off an exit anytime soon. I have to deal with people getting off, getting on, merging. Uh, try to stay out of the far left lane if you can, because that's where the cops really try to look for speeders, I guess. Not really in a hurry to get to Everson because once we get there we are done for the day because yeah you can see our ETA is about quarter of five so by the time we drop off this uh, these beverages as they call it we can find ourselves a parking area we shall be fine now it's not gonna be that long of a ride from Evanston to Salt Lake City so next episode if hope you know fingers crossed we can get a load going there if not then we'll be uh, bobtailing it from Evanston down to Salt Lake City. I want to say it's is it even going to be 100 miles? It's, it's like 120 miles or so. So a couple hours of driving from Evanston down to Salt Lake City to get our trailer. And like I said, fingers crossed, Salt Lake City is a decent sized city. So I'd expect a good amount of choices. Well, I, said, I should say a good amount of choices for us. Uh, but there should be some choices for us to get a load going eastbound in the direction that we're going. I, I don't want something going to Philadelphia. That's too far north. Uh, as long as it stays south, I'm, we'll try to stay away from the north part of the country if you can. Because on the coast to coast map, it's not done well over as nicely. Yeah, we'll try to stick to the southern end of the country. And I should bring this up. Um, so just back there, you saw me get in the left lane while there was a cop have a, a vehicle pull over. In most states, that is a law to, that you have to move over when there's a cop on the side of the road or any kind of hazard on the side of the road. You have to move on over. Some people don't know that, so I just thought I'd bring it up. I know in my state, it definitely is a law. My friend got pulled over and she said, I got pulled over because I, I didn't give the cop enough room. Do you know? I'm like, yes, that I know that. <laughs> I know that. So, so far I'm happy. We're up to, we were down to a 7,000. Now we're up to nine. We're going to get a little bit of cash. Uh, yeah, just a little over $600. So not, not a whole lot, but it's positive money. And that just means we just have enough cash for tomorrow to pay off our loan. 
I mean, we're in the situation not long ago when we bought our fourth truck for the Denver garage, where the money was kind of low. Money will come in, so I'm not too worried about it. I do need to get over to that right-hand lane. I think I got plenty of room in front of that truck. Costco with this? Okay. I'm also looking at the GPS list, looking for where I'm going to be spending the night. This is kind of convenient. I can see our drop-off point, but the reason why I'm stopping here, you can see the thumbnail I'm going to take. Enjoy responsibly drink or drive, and I'm hauling a Coors Light trailer. All right, so with that taken care of, let's get this load in here because um, there's a line of traffic behind me when I stopped. Try to hug this side over here because I do believe my drop-off point is way over there. Well, I shouldn't say way over there. With the tandem trailer, I gotta make sure I get this right the first time. Dang. It's gonna get in there. Got a question of it's going to ding. There it is. Park and brake engine decouple. Then it's got to find my rest area for the day, evening. A little bit of XP. Let's go ahead and continue and look at the world map. So all the cities in Wyoming have been discovered. Yeah, so we didn't we didn't really take the road from Riverton up and around to Sheridan. Um, yeah, there's a couple uh, side roads that we have not taken, but we did get up to Yellowstone. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure in the way we'll, we'll get back here eventually. Uh, I, I need to scroll on down here. I do see one right over here, which is not far at all. All right, could just go over to here. Now let's just go to here. Uh, can we? Can we? There we, there we go. Mark it. Thank you. All right, let's head on out. And like I said, hopefully tomorrow, next episode, uh, we will find ourselves a load from Evanston to Salt Lake to pick up our trailer. A second when I uh, do park this up I'm going to just double check to see how long the drive it is from Evanston to Salt Lake City because if I do have to bobtail it then um, we will but that's where we're, we're definitely going to Salt Lake City to get that trailer with a load or without wait is that uh, okay so I can't really stop there that's a head uh, that's a garage so I'm not gonna be able to sleep there because I don't own it I was wondering if that was gonna be yeah, there's, it shows a garage right on it, stupid. Uh, let's go ahead and hopefully I can... There, yeah, we can do that still. All works out. Just four miles down the road. So I think this is the first time I have bought a low-loading trailer 
I know my other profile I definitely have bought a reefer trailer. Um, I think I even bought a side skirt trailer. But a low loader. I mean, we can we know the loads we can take. We've seen them. Just a matter of what will be taken. Now, if I went with the uh, uh, the longer extensions, articulated trailer, I probably could take in bigger loads. But as you can saw, money wise, we're not in a situation to do that. And plus, uh, bigger loads it is fun for the challenge. But overall. Can I enter? I think I can enter from over there. I always seem to enter a a fuel stop in the wrong area. We'll top off though. Hey, you know what? I'll do it in the morning. So he says. Or I'll get in there and I'll probably fuel up because if I say I'm going to do it in the morning, I'm getting out of my routine and won't forget. Cars. Exit only. Alright, yeah, so I'm yeah, Of course I came in the wrong way. Let's get some fuel. It's not going to be that much, but just keep it topped off when you can. Fuel in Wyoming is expensive. Of course, what I don't know is, did they change the price of fuel everywhere since the last update? Maybe, maybe that's the reason. Maybe it's that expensive like that everywhere now. Hopefully, sometimes these parking areas you park at the end, it doesn't quite register. All right, 505. Good enough. Uh, if we go to world map, and all I got to do is if I go to Salt Lake City, and we'll just pin it like right here. So, yeah, it's a two hour, two hour trip ish, right on down the I 80. And depending on where we got to go to get our load, oh, uh, wait, where's our garage? Oh, our garage is right here. Definitely got to go to the garage. So, yeah, let's pin the garage. Yep, so 100 miles exactly. Well, 99. Uh, so, definitely got to go to the garage to get the trailer. And once we got the trailer, then we can come on down here and do cargo market. And you can even do external market for cargo as well. So, we'll have to see uh, what loads we get tomorrow. But first thing is, we got to see if we can get a load to Evanston down to Salt Lake City. Uh, that'd be very nice. But anyways, I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in American Truck Simulator with Realistic Economy. But until then, have a good one.